Well, moving on to our coverage at Ayodhya, the Grand Ram Temple consecration ceremony in Ayodhya is just two days away. The Holy Temple Town is all decked up and preparations are on in full swing. The excitement can not only be felt all across the country, but also around the world. In the latest, India's cricketing icon Sachin Tendulkar, chess master Vishwanathan Anand and sprint queen P.T. Usha are among the prominent sports personalities invited for the consecration. Now these are the preparation visuals we are getting from Ayodhya. The main gate of the Ram Temple is being adorned with colourful flowers. Well, now, not just the temple, but the entire city is being decorated with tons of flowers and colourful lights. An iconic roundabout in the heart of Ayodhya, named after the legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar, has become a popular attraction. The temple city's iconic Hanuman Garidham is also being completely decorated with lights and flowers. This is the main entrance which goes towards the Ram Temple. The entire area has been cordoned off and the preparations are in full swing ahead of the consecration ceremony which is going to take place on the 22nd of January. The excitement can be felt in the national capital too. A massive procession was held before the Ram Temple in New Delhi's Daryaganj area. On Friday, Lord Ram's idol was unveiled, which was earlier installed in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Lord Ram's idol depicts the deity as a five-year-old child in a standing posture. The Temple Trust has also shared a glimpse of Lord Ram along with his brothers. Meanwhile, India's most expensive Ramayan book has also reached the holy city and it is fast becoming the center of attraction. It's worth almost 2,000 US dollars, which is around 170,000 Indian rupees and it weighs 45 kilograms. The world's largest 300-foot earthen lamp is also being lit in the temple city. Security is tightened ahead of Monday's grand ceremony. Elaborate arrangements have been put in place to facilitate the ceremony's smooth flow. Over 30,000 security personnel from various agencies have arrived in the temple town of Ayodhya. Earlier, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath arrived in the temple town to take stock of the preparations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's security cover will be five-tier. PM Modi's security cover includes heavily armed SPG bodyguards and black cat commandos of the NSG. For more on this, we are now joined by Amish Tripathi. Amish is a renowned author and he's joining us live from Mumbai. Amish, thank you so much for joining us. First up, I want to ask you and for all our global audience that is watching with, with a lot of interest at this particular event that is going to take place in Ayodhya on Monday, if you could just tell us about the significance of this event to India and globally as well. Uh, no, it is a civilizational moment. There's no doubt about this. Uh, it has uh, almost never happened uh, in human history, uh, especially in the last 2000 years, that a pagan idol worshipping culture, which has uh, lost its temple when invaders have uh, destroyed uh, one, of the, uh, one of its temples and built another worship place on top of it, it's almost never happened that a pagan idol worshipping culture has uh, rebuilt its temple. It didn't happen with the Greeks, didn't happen with the Romans, the Pharaonic Egyptians, Mesopotamians, Central Americans. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, it is a civilizational moment for India, no doubt. Uh, the uh, This is, of course, going to have a massive, at the most prosaic level, it will have a massive economic consequence on Ayodhya and indeed across the country. Uh, I think at a deeper level, it will also aid... Uh, uh, national consciousness as used to happen uh, in our ancient large temples because pilgrims would come from across uh, India to large temples. It would aid the building of, of uh, national consciousness. Diana Eck, a brilliant uh, American scholar and uh, uh, writer, had said that uh, uh, ancient India was not built on the power of its kings. It was built on the footsteps of its pilgrims as uh, people from across the Indian subcontinent went to major temples across uh, India. North India, most of the ancient uh, temples were all destroyed uh, in the invasions of the last thousand years. Uh, the rebuilding of uh, this uh, will herald a change. 
Uh, Amish, you have authored the Ram Chandra series. My understanding is that you have researched extensively into Ramayan and Lord Ram. Help us understand the significance of Lord Ram, and not as not just as somebody who is revered and worshipped, but as somebody, uh, but just as a spirit that Lord Ram embodies. You know his teachings and uh, mm -hmm. what he signifies overall. Look, uh, Lord Ram is, of course, uh, a Hindu god uh, that we uh, idolize and worship. Uh, but, uh, you know, many uh, other religions also trace their uh, ancestry to the same dynasty that Lord Ram was, formed, uh, was from. Uh, Gautam Buddha was uh, from the Ikshvaku dynasty, which is Lord Ram's dynasty. Uh, Rishabh Dev, who is the founder of Jainism, was from uh, the Ikshvaku dynasty. Many uh, say that Guru Nanak Dev Ji of Sikhism uh, was also from uh, this very uh, dynasty. But more than that, I think uh, more, uh, equally important uh, of Lord Ram as a god, I think uh, he is in a way the eternal king uh, of India. Uh, he represents a very different model of kingship. Uh, there was one model of kingship which is called uh, you know, uh, the King Dhritarashtra model. Uh, you, know, you must have heard of the term Putramo, obsession with your children. And the King Dhritarashtra model was that uh, uh, he put his family above his uh, nation and his people. Uh, Lord Ram was uh, the exact opposite. He put his nation and his people above his own family, above everything else. Uh, and that is a model of uh, kingship. Uh, that Indians have been obsessed with for uh, centuries, indeed millennia. That is why even today, the best way to, uh, uh, you know, I'm, uh, for most Indians, they believe that the best way to run a country is uh, Ram Raja, literally the rule of Ram. Uh, 